This is a multiplication game, a war type game with a regular deck of cards. Removing the jacks and the kings. I leave the face card, sorry, the queens I leave in and they represent zero. This will be a three card war. I uh, have these little place cards that we put our cards on just to remind us of the operation that's happening. This time it'll be multiplication. We'll divide up the deck somewhat equally. So each of us has our stack of cards. And because it's a three card war, we're gonna take three cards, put the first two face down and the third one face down as well. And then you can turn over the two on your mat and multiply them together. So I have two times three is six. And three times six is 18. Perfect, and the goal is to have the highest amount to win and so I can now choose whether I want to trade one of these two cards for this card. So I'm gonna probably trade the two and this card to see if I can get a higher value. What are you going to do? I should wait for my partner to decide as well so we do it at the same time. I think I'm going to stay. You're gonna stay? Okay, so I'm gonna turn these over and I now have three times three which is nine so I lose. My partner or opponent will get all of the six cards that were used. And we go again. Turn over two. Ooh, seven times seven is 49. What do you have? Started at 64, right? And you're adding one more group of eight. 70, 72. Perfect. So good strategy. You, you knew that you, you knew eight times eight was 64. So this was close to a square and you added on one more group of eight to get to 72. I have uh, 49, so I lose right now, but I can trade uh, unfortunately, the highest card we have in here is a 10, so there's actually no way of me winning right now, but I'll trade anyways just to see what happens. And I end up with zero. My opponent obviously doesn't want to trade because she's got such a high value as it is. And she wins, so there you go. Uh oh. So I have four. Are you going to stay or trade? I think I'll stay. Are you sure? I am sure. Uh, <laughs> it'd be awfully convenient for me if you wanted to trade. Uh, okay, so I'll trade the one for my card, but there's really no way I can win again because four times anything is not going to be larger than 60 uh, and out of the cards that we have. So I lose again, and my opponent gets the cards. Three times eight is 24. What do you have? I have 20. Okay. I'm gonna switch. How about you? I could stay. You're gonna stay? Oh, I went down to eight and you've got 20. You win again. In the event that we had a tie, we would play three cards face down and then do another set of three cards and do the same thing that we have been doing previously. The person who ends up with all the cards or the first person to run out of cards or not have enough to play uh, will lose the game.